Welcome to the e-learning session, iFind, Semantic Search. The iFind Semantic Index supports all of the search capabilities of the iFind Basic Index. The iFind Semantic Index takes advantage of the iNo engine to allow us to explore the entities and their context. Using the iFind Semantic Index is very simple. It's a combination of configure, build, and query. In order to configure your class definition to include a semantic index, you need to add an index that is based on percent ifind.index.semantic on a text property. If you already have data in your table, you will need to build the index using the percent build indices method. Thereafter, any updates to your class will update the index. In order to use the iFind semantic index, you will add to the SQL where clause percent %id, percent %find, and the function search underscore index with its appropriate arguments. Let's take a look at our eLearning.quotes class to see how this is done. Here we have the eLearning.quotes class open in Studio. This class has been used in the previous I know videos. We have added the iFind semantic index by creating an index called quote semantic index on the quote property using percent ifind.index.semantic. We will compile the class. And since there is data in the class, we need to build the index. We will invoke the percent build indices method of the eLearning.quotes class. Our index is now ready for use. So let's go to the management portal so that we can execute SQL statements. In the management portal, we will go to System Explorer, SQL. To illustrate that the semantic index supports the same functionality as the basic index, we will perform a wildcard search on the text in our eLearning.quotes class. We have included in our WHERE clause percent %id percent %find and the function search underscore index with two arguments. The first argument is the index that we wish to use, in this case, quote, semantic index. The second argument is the search string. This query will return all the records that have in their quote a word beginning with photo. When we execute this, we get 11 rows, and these are the same 11 rows that we got when we used the basic index. And this query will return all of those records that have the word people in the quotation. When we execute this, we get a total of 22 records from various authors. By putting curly braces around our search string, our search is converted from a word search to an entity search. This query will return all of those quotations that have the entity people in them. And when we execute this query, we see that there are 15 rows that have the entity people as opposed to the word people. This is achieved by taking advantage of the iNo engine. And this query will return all of those quotes that have the entity worthless people. And there's only one quotation from Socrates that meets this criteria. By incorporating angle brackets, we can introduce wildcard search to our entity search. This query will return all of the rows with an entity ending in the word people. And when we execute this, we find that there are six rows that have people as the last word of an entity. With a semantic index, it is possible to combine entity search and word search. This query will return all of our quotations that have the entity people and the word read. When we execute this query, we see that there are two quotations that meet this criteria. You have been watching the eLearning session, iFind, Semantic Search.